Hello friends, my name is Nate. Welcome back to a 40k journey. Today we're going to be looking at cleaning and assembly, making your model look good before you make it look better with paint. Before I begin, please, if you're enjoying the channel, subscribe. It's totally free, really helps me out, and you can change your mind at any time. So we're starting off with a Farstalker Kinvan kill team. These are the crew that came with the Into the Dark. And we're going to be working on the kill broker here. I think he's the leader. And you have two options. You have the, the blue version, which has the Tau rifle, and the red ver uh, the green version, which has some other different options. And then whenever you're building, uh, the gray instructions are for all versions of the model. A lot of newer uh, 40K models have multiple versions, which is really cool. So a couple quick tools that every hobbyist should have. Good pair of nippers or sprue cutters, whatever you call them, really same thing. Uh, a good sharp hobby knife that is absolutely protected because they are really sharp. And a nice pair of tweezers because a lot of these parts are really, really small. So uh, depending on the type of model you have, you may want to give it a bath in warm water and dish soap, but I've never had to do that for Citadel models. Really, that's mostly for resin models. Uh, the uh, mold release chemicals uh, can prevent paint from adhering properly to the model. But again, 40K models, I generally don't bother. So, But here we are looking for part. Uh, sprues are almost always labeled, and sprue is the tree of plastic that the parts come on. We've got our nippers here, and you want to make sure that you're using the flat edge uh, facing toward the part. Uh, and if your nippers don't have a completely flat edge, might be just not the deep valley side. We generally don't want that facing the part. And you want to clip a little ways away from the part. You never want to clip right up against the part. If you do, you risk gouging some plastic out of the part. And yes, that can be fixed, but for my money, it's a lot easier to take a little bit more time, a little bit more caution up front than have to fix a mistake later. And if you have to turn your hand around so that you're using the other side to avoid uh, clipping too close to the part, don't be shy about doing it. But generally, if you can, flat side of the nippers to the part. Then we'll be coming back in with our hobby knife to clean up the sprue gates. Those are the parts that we clipped, you know, where the part connected to the sprue. And all parts will have a mold line. That's just a line running down the middle of the part. Um, fortunately, you can only see it for a second here. But those are easily removed by running your hobby knife perpendicular to the part. That'll scrape that mold line right off. You just gotta be careful. Don't cut yourself and don't try to shave too much off. Otherwise, you're gonna get some weird topography on your part. And once you're done, you've got your parts cleaned up, always dry fit your parts. So always make sure that they fit together properly before you glue them. This is absolutely essential. This will show you uh, any spaces that still need filling. It can help you identify uh, any places where you might have trouble if you start gluing. Now, those nibbly nobbly bits we pulled off, don't throw those away because those can still be useful. They can help you make sprue goo which is Tamiya extra thin cement mixed with those little bits of plastic. And you can use sprue too. basically combine them and give them a little bit of time to set. Should look about like that. If it's really stringy, add more cement. And if it's really, really watery, add more plastic. There's no perfect ratio that I know of. But this does act as both a gap filler, which is really, really nice, and a good cement. So it'll help your parts go. But be careful here. This is pretty good stuff, but less is more. You don't want to overload with uh, sprue goo because what will happen is when you put the parts together, if you have too much, it'll squeeze out the sides and then you'll have to clean that up. So again, it's not really hard to clean it up, but for my money, it's better just to take a little bit more time on the front end and not have to worry about it later. So gluing the head here together and don't be afraid to assemble in stages. It's not always practical or even advisable to assemble the entire model all at once. So many models have vastly like different color parts right next to each other. 
or maybe they have some parts that are going to be really hard to get at once you fully assemble the model. So don't be shy about assembling in stages and actually looking at the kill broker here. I think the parts are all going to be individual. I don't think I'm going to do any further assembling. I glued his head together and I think I'm going to wind up gluing his, uh, his leg here uh, to the rest of his torso. But uh, really, I'm going to leave his arms off. I'm going to leave his head off. I'm going to leave his cape off just because painting them individually is going to be so much easier than trying to do it all at once. It's going to be really finicky, save you a lot of hassle. But those are really some of the basics of assembly and cleaning. Once again, thank you so much for joining me in the 40k journey. Please like, subscribe, and consider supporting the channel on Patreon.